What's up, guys? Briar Rabbit here, and today I have the lovely. Hello there. This is Janice. This is Janice. So, we just got back from vacation. Oh, what a wonderful vacation! It, it was just a little shorty. We left on Friday <laughs> evening, and we got back on Sunday mm, at noon. Yeah. It was uh, pretty good, though. It, I gotta be honest, though. It only wet my appetite for vacation. It did not <laughs> satisfy the the drive to go on vacation. No, but it was perfect in every way. It really was. It was. We went to. Okay, so this is the weird thing that happens when you grow up. Instead of vacations where you want to go to Six Flags Great America, <laughs> when you're like a kid, or Disney World, or when you're in your twenties, you just want to go somewhere where there's no adults, so you can get your freak on. Once you become an adult, you start wanting places that will just wait on you hand and foot. <laughs> right. They do everything except wipe your hiney for you. Right. And frankly, if somebody offered that service, I think I might <laughs> take them up on it. <laughs> so we went to a little bed and breakfast. And it was one of those places that just like kind of everything's included. And, you know, they served gourmet breakfasts. It was just wonderful. It was great. And the woman that runs the place... Just really personable, and she did yeah. a fabulous job. We did a beer tasting. That was fun. Oh, it was delicious. And then we had some of the best food I can remember having in probably, since we probably were in Philadelphia. I think the best meal we had was we went to this farm-to-table restaurant. Yeah, that was cool. Everything was fresh, delicious. So they source all their food only from local farms, and they only serve... They have a chef there that specializes in kind of making up dishes... That you know are in season. So if the farms are growing, if the farms have you know apples in season, then he uses dishes with apples. And Jan got a chicken dish, which was to die for, and I got a beef dish that was absolutely crazy delicious. It was great. Yeah, and it, and then the what the night before we went to like a little marina place. We saw a steamboat. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the, like a dude's got a steamboat. It was tiny. <laughs> it was a little tiny steamboat. <laughs> It was bizarre, but it was pretty good. I, yeah. I was uh, so I was making fun of Janice because the kids went with their grandfather to Maine while we were in Vermont, and uh, Janice calls me and says, oh, "I was so upset, you know, that I, I, when I was saying goodbye to the boys in the morning, I'm like, that's silly. We're gonna we're leaving them for two days. Yeah, and like you know, big deal." And then, like, I load the kids up in their grandfather's car, and I watch them leave, and I start tearing up. I'm like, I'm not crying. (laughs) So the boys had a nice little vacation on their own. That's right. They went to the beach, and they got bike bike riding in. Sounded pretty good to me. Yeah. But we almost didn't make it on vacation because David's been fighting an illness. Oh, major ear infection. (laughs) (laughs) So, yeah, I mean, I didn't make videos for, like, three or four days just because I couldn't hear anything, you know? No. Like, just moving my head around hurt. You were miserable, and I was afraid to do anything to upset you because you were <laughs> just a bear. <laughs> I am the most miserable sick person on the planet. So, yeah. here's the medication, right? This is ridiculous. Every, like, four hours, four times a day, I had to put eardrops in one ear... And then lay on the other side, so with that ear facing up for half an hour. And then when that half hour was up, I had to flip over and put them in the other ear. And I had to do that four times a day. So four hours a day, I had to just lie still. And that's hard for a person who has to constantly be doing something. Yeah. I mean, that's basically how I started doing YouTube. I'm like, well, i got to do something. I might as well. (laughs) Can't sit here doing nothing. Can't sit here doing nothing. Yeah. And there I was, sitting there doing nothing. It was driving me crazy. Yeah, well, you're on the mend, though. Yeah, so be careful of swimmer's ear. Don't let that water sit in there. Yeah, make sure you get the water out of your ears if you go in the pool. Yeah. Shake it out, because it can lead to uh, serious ailment. Yeah, serious ear infection. Yeah. (laughs) So, you remember um, a couple weeks ago, David talked about falling down the stairs? That didn't happen. And (laughs) I'm um, smelt like a cat. Yeah, well, I guess we're even now because I fell during That's vacation. Right. Luckily, it was only one stair. One, yes. One step. It was a digger. <laughs> it was a digger. <laughs> I don't do well with stairs. <laughs> it's kind of like, it, it's kind of a running joke around here because I've seen Jan fall down steps, I don't know, <laughs> three or four times in the in the two years that we've known each other. Mm-hmm. And uh, so when I fell down the stairs, I was like, ha, ah, see, it's not just me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> but now it's back to me again. Oh, man. I, I felt bad for you this morning. We were just going to get coffee. We hadn't even had our coffee yet, and wham. I'm just glad no one else was there to see it. Yeah, because then you get the embarrassment factor. <laughs> yeah, I would have been very embarrassed. Very. And then we had breakfast right after that. That made you feel a little better. It did. It was some yummy waffles. Yeah, it was. It was delicious. Mmm. Yeah. So as we get back from vacation, you are actually going to continue to be on vacation. You're going to spend a week with the boys, right? That's right, and we're going to try to find some fun stuff to do. Yeah, what are you going to do? Are you going to do, like, uh, obviously you'll be in the pool a little bit. Are you going to do, like, uh, Six Flags or the Science Museum or anything like that? That's a really good idea. Maybe I could take them to local, like, lake compounds. That'd be fun. Something like that. Yeah, that'd I be a lot of fun. Can't sit home and do nothing. No, you don't want to do that. You know, they've made so much progress with, you know, kind of expanding their horizons and stuff like that that, you know, I think it's good that we encourage it and, uh, you know, help them along that path. You yeah. know, find stuff to do with them mm -hmm. that, uh, you know, they, they can, they maybe enjoy or they don't enjoy, but at least they've experienced it. Right. They can make their own decision as yeah. far as if they like it or not. You know, they like, they like, they went to uh, Laser Tag. In the last week of camp there, mm -hmm. they had a blast with that. They liked that game. Maybe we can do that. They can shoot mom with the lasers. Yeah. I always like going to laser tag, too. But they don't. They always want me to go, but then they get mad at me when I'm there. Because you shoot them. Right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was how you play. <laughs> I thought that was the point. I guess they just don't want to be shot at by you. <laughs> Maybe we should be on the same team. It should be team deathmatch. You're like a fierce competitor. That's why. I, am, I have a bit of a... Com Competitive issue. <laughs> I don't yes. like to lose. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, that's going to wrap up this commentary. Thank you very much for listening. If you liked it, hit that like button. It really helps me out. If you're new to the channel, hit that big red subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. 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 Bye bye. -bye. What's up, guys, and fuck you. Fuck you, too, motherfucker. <laughs>